Am I the asshole? For refusing to go to a child-free wedding if my son can't go. Hopefully the only edit am I confused and a little upset my son isn't invited to the wedding? Yes, sure. Is that the reason I am debating on not going? No my decision to not go is based entirely on their attitude through what's been this month and it's also been based on my son's current feelings. If in a year the situation has bypassed regardless of my son going or not then my decision might change but for now I will stand behind my son and his decision and feelings. Also if the people who are barely reading the post want answers or more details just click my account and check my comments. There's a lot of stories on here regarding weddings and child-free weddings and overall entitlement but I want to know if I'm right by saying this situation differs to the rest or if I am truly being an asshole. My younger brother and Syl are getting married next year 2024, and sent out the RSVP earlier this February which is when this whole fight started. The invitations include tickets to the wedding along with the dress code and a semi-letter letting the attendees know this is a child-free wedding along with a few other formalities or rules whatever they want to call them. Not my wedding not my rules to make plus I don't have children, my only kid is 16 year olds and I am a single mom so the whole idea of going to the wedding to enjoy a fun night to myself without kids is not something new nor is it something I've had to worry about for a while. The issue isn't with the rule the issue is that the invitation originally came with two tickets and we didn't think much of it because he's not a child so why wouldn't he be invited. Turns out the no child rule involves anyone under the age of 18 and we found out when my son brought up the wedding during a family dinner and both my sill and brother seemed taken aback which then led to questions and them finding out they had accidentally sent out two tickets which then led to an awkward conversation and my son getting uninvited in front of the people present. I'm genuinely trying really hard to understand their side and the fact that it's their wedding not mine but I cannot get past the idea of the way they did so and how they made my son feel. Also, the fact that I had my son at a really young age and his dad was never present so my brother was like a big brother to my son so I think my son and me are quite hurt at the idea of my son not attending. I would say me choosing to not attend is nothing personal but I'd be lying if I did so. I've been getting called immature, petty, and a bitch but I think the situation would have been different had it been made clear my son wasn't going to be invited from the start and not get his invitation revoked randomly. I've been getting called immature, petty, and a bitch. Who called you those names? It's pretty blatant that if someone invites you to something with stipulations you can't comfortably meet, declining is the obvious and acceptable answer. Not the asshole if the couple called you names. Nah if someone else did since it's not their conflict. Not the asshole. I'd sit it out. Maybe the extra ticket was an honest mistake, but do they really expect the name calling to change Jop's mind? Their mistake, their shitty response, they're the as. Besides, child free means some folks can't attend. It's the choice you make. If they won't make an exception due to age and the already purchased plane ticket they've found out that some decisions have consequences they won't like. Would have been NAH if they'd spoken to you and your son about it in private later. Uninviting him in front of others is a dick move on their part. So not the asshole. It's always hard to see that people don't reciprocate your feelings such as your brother being a surrogate father figure to your son. All of the child-free weddings I've experienced meant kids who were young teens and under. 16 was never a problem. Personally, I don't understand excluding family from a wedding celebration, but that's me. Not the asshole if you don't go, but just give your regrets, don't make an ultimatum. Not the asshole. They uninvited him? So rude. No need to go to that wedding. 16 is a little old to be counted as a child. Not the asshole. By the time the wedding rolls around on 2024 will he be 18? Just curious. In the semi letter that was included did it state that when they said child free they meant no one under 18 could attend? Or did they just say child free? I could definitely see you assuming he was invited if there was no age given and you received two tickets. Not the asshole. 
I feel like it was reasonable to expect that the, the circumstances of this child-free wedding business could be flexible for your son, as your younger brother is like his older brother. Also, very weird to be sending invites to a wedding in 2024 at this point in time. A save the date sure but an invite with an RSVP? Weird. If you received two invitations, I think most people would have assumed you were both invited. The way they uninvited your son publicly is really rude and I understand why he's hurt. It's a bit of a shitty situation. Even if they invite your son now, he knows they don't want him there and are just doing it to make up for their mistake. They're allowed to decide on their guest list but you're also allowed to decide whether to go. Nah but they're the one that messed up and should have been way more careful. Not the asshole. I would have said TA if you assumed 16 wasn't child age but you got two tickets so you were right to assume that your son was invited. Uninviting family and doing so in the way they did is so mean, they should have kept quiet and accepted that they did invite your son. Your feelings are valid and the fact you're being called these bad names for not wanting to attend their wedding is cruel. No need to go if you haven't forgiven them, enjoy your peace elsewhere. Not the asshole. What's with sending tickets? And the name calling? They don't sound like pleasant people. Not the asshole. Your son is 16, not 6. If the wedding is not for a year he'll be 17 at that point. And like you said there were two tickets in the invite and no mention that children meant anyone under 18. Had your brother and Syl addressed this in private, that would be different. But to uninvite someone in front of others is just plain wrong. Ouch not the asshole. Even if the decision not to attend is personal and even if you get attacked for it, if you are not in the headspace to enjoy the event, why go? In my opinion they should have included your son, but it is their wedding, their rules. You do not have to feel obligated. If you get hassled for not attending, tell the haters that you can't attend because of child care. It will be truthful. You care for your son and would rather be with him. Not the asshole if they're going to call you awful names and revoke your son's invitation why would you want to go? If they think so little of you and call you names and not take in your son's hurt feelings into consideration before revoking that invitation I'd stay home. Info did the invitation have his name or guest on it? If guest or just your name you should have clarified the two tickets. If your son's name then you aren't to blame. For someone to humiliate and hurt your son at a family dinner by making them feel unincluded, you are doing the right thing. There is a time and a place for those conversations and that was not the place child-free weddings usually mean pre-teens, not teens. Not the asshole. My cousin had a child-free wedding and I assumed really young kids, and I later found out my teenager couldn't come, so I didn't go no hard feelings on either side. Mistakes were made on their part with the extra ticket, but now that it's been cleared up, and you don't want to go, then don't go. It's their wedding with their rules so it's pretty cut and dry.